I'm Larry Anglesana reporting for AdWeb and Aviation Consumer here at the Light Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida. Just because you fly a light sport airplane doesn't mean you don't need to comply with the FAA's 2020 ADSB mandate. Flight Design USA is here with the new CTLSI that's ADSB compliant. And to tell us more about it, here's Flight Design USA's Tom Pagini. Behind us is the 2016 CTLSI 2020 version of the fuel injected CTLS from Flight Design. Uh, it features the new Dynon 2020 compliant ADSB out system with several choices of ADSB in, which people know gives you uh, traffic, weather, TFRs, TAFs, and uh, meets the requirement for 2020 from the FAA Next Gen. So this is the interior of the CTLSI 2020 edition featuring the uh, two 10-inch Dynon screens with a 796 as a multi-function display in the middle with a Garmin GTR 225COM and the integrated Dynon 261 uh, extended squitter transponder. Uh, that hooks up to a, uh, that is the out module with a compliant GPS source and the, we are going to offer two options for in where you could have a Garmin GDL 39 3D that would feed the ADSB in information to the 796 unit or the Dynon 470 SV ADSB module which would give the ADSB in information to the screen. Uh, on the Dynon twin screens, we can swap screens and swap parts of each and have a, a PFD on both sides or engine monitor on uh, both sides. One thing we, you can't do is make any of the required information disappear. Uh, what's really exciting is that you, if you have an existing Skyview equipped CT or to be honest, other Skyview equipped uh, amateur built or uh, light sport aircraft, uh, Dynon with a $600 purchase of a compliant GPS source and the new version 14 software will make your airplane 2020 compliant if you have their 261 SV extended squitter transponder which most people equip their planes with. For more information you can go to www.flightdesignusa.com. Thank you.